Number five, English peppered moths. We're told that English peppered moths provide an example of evolution in action. You see, before the Industrial Revolution, there were two varieties of English peppered moths. One dark colored, one light colored, but the light colored was much higher in ratio than the dark colored. But after the Industrial Revolution, the dark colored became the more prominent color and the light, the fewer in the mix. And we're told that's because birds could see the light colored better, etc. And this was supposedly an example of natural selection. The problem with this example is, number one, many of the pictures were faked because the English peppered moths don't often land on tree trunks, and the entire idea was flawed in that way. But the second problem was that before the Industrial Revolution, the genetic information in the English peppered moth genome had genetic information for two varieties, light colored and dark colored, and after the genetic information was the same. English peppered moths simply do not prove Evolution. And number six, horse evolution. If you were to look in your biology textbooks, you would see that horse evolution is often used as evidence that evolution really occurred. You would see a, a picture of a very small animal, almost looks like a fox or something like that, evolving into modern horse. But this scenario, it's fabricated. It's not true. It was made up. In fact, more than 50 years ago, Dr. George Gaylord Simpson said, the uniform continuous transformation of Hierocotherium into Equus, so dear to the hearts of generations of textbook writers, never happened in nature. You see, this information that's presented to us as proof that evolution actually occurred is not proof at all.